Hi everyone and welcome to part 10 of The Sims 4 Get Famous. So it's the next morning and Carlos is still here at his mother and stepfather's house and Vanessa is preparing a lovely breakfast for everyone to eat together before they go off to work and school because all of them have either work or school today and I think I'm just gonna have Carlos actually go into work today. He goes in at 10 so I'll just let him go into work and then once he goes off to work I'll switch gears to Tommy and Emmy because Tommy does have that acting gig today at noon, which I'm really, really excited about. What is this beautiful? Oh, yeah, I was having him update his Instagram story or status, one of those things to hopefully stop his fame level from going down because he did just reach a level three in the... Wait, no, wrong sim. He reached level three in the last part. So I want to make sure we don't get back down to level two, but I'm also hoping that her meal is good enough for him. Oh, good, excellent. Yeah, because I remember that he does have that quirk where the refined palate quirk where he only wants to eat excellent quality food. So I think that might have been part of why he turned down the meal the previous part because, I mean, he ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich though, which I'd imagine is probably worse than whatever she cooked. But maybe that's part of why he didn't eat whatever it was that Charlie cooked. Like it wasn't good enough for him, but it looks like his mother's eggs are good enough for him. So that's good to see. But yeah, we're just gonna have them all have a nice breakfast together before they all go off and get on with their day. So he's just chatting here with his mother, which is excellent. But speaking of quirks, I did actually give him the fan mail quirk. I was gonna just go with whatever he ended up developing, but I decided to give him this one because I was thinking about a situation, I think this fits in perfectly because he's had a really quick rise to fame and admittedly he doesn't hasn't really, I feel like he hasn't really done enough to like quite justify that in the sense of like his video uploading and stylist career things so a huge part of that is definitely because of tommy and emmy and i think now that he's starting to be in the public eye more and people are starting to talk about him more like some people are some people are not huge fans of his and feel like the reason the only reason why he's getting any fame is because of tommy and emmy you know he doesn't deserve it he's just kind of famous because he knows famous people not because of any talent that he has and then other people who are true fans of his say that it's just because he has excellent fashion taste, he's a good video or content creator. So I think he's going to start to experience some of the downsides of his newfound fame. He's going to start getting some not so great gifts in the mail because yeah, so far it's been all sunshine and daisies. He hasn't really experienced any of the downsides of gaining fame, but yeah, now that he is at the three-star level, I think he is going to start experiencing that. So yeah, I just felt like that quirk fit the situation perfectly. But let's have him chat a bit more so we'll goof around with her. We'll have him chat with Charlie as well. So we'll talk about the cool temperature because it's kind of... Well, I mean, it is fall, so never mind. I forgot we're into fall now. It's no longer summer. But yeah, it is unusually cool here in Oasis Springs, I suppose. We'll talk about the thunderstorm because, oh yeah, it is storming outside. Looks like Charlie and Vanessa both have work in an hour. And Christina here should be getting off to school soon. I think she, yeah, she should actually be getting off now, but I guess we'll let her stay here and chat for a few minutes. But I just thought it'd be really nice for them to have this nice conversation as they eat breakfast together, you know, just have a nice family breakfast because it's been a while since they've done this. So let's ask her about school, see how that's going. You know, ask her if she's excited about going to school today. And it is storming pretty hard outside. I wonder if it's storming in Del Sol Valley at all too. Like I don't think there's there's really much rain or precipitation in general in a way or um, Del Sol Valley because I don't believe I've seen it rain at all in that world throughout the series. But let's get some more conversation going. Heartfelt compliment. And what is this? Like old times, enjoying being near my family. Aw, yeah, he's really happy to be back home. What else do we have? Okay, scared of the thunderstorm. Yeah, because I noticed um, that after I stopped recording the last part that he had a mood lit about not enjoying his food because I think that was from the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But she really should be getting off to school soon. So I think we're just going to cut off this eating and let her get off to school because, yeah, she's almost an hour late. That's not very good. So we should let her do that. And any minute now, Charlie and Vanessa should be getting off to work as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put Carlos back into Tommy and Emmy's household and switch over to them because... There's not gonna, there's about to not be a whole lot going on over here. We are back in the mansion and I was just having Carlos do some writing for he goes off to work just to get his writing skill up a little bit because he did have to get that to level three to get another promotion and I really want him to get another one soon. But while we are waiting for Tommy's gig, I was thinking we could have Emmy work on another song because maybe releasing another song will get her fame 
up to level five because that'd be so cool if we get there because we are so close. And as far as Tommy and what he's doing, I was just having him do another morning workout because that was a thing I was trying to have him do, like, you know, start his day off, day off with a workout, but then I kind of forgot about the past couple parts, but we're doing it this one. All right, so we got our royalties for the day. Awesome. Hey, what's up, Carlos? I noticed your name has been all the buzz lately. How do you feel about catching up? I mean, we were always friends before you made it big, right? I mean, they, they kind of just caught up. I mean, the game makes no sense. So anyway, with a couple hours we have, let's have her work on a song. And I think I turned object music off or music off again, so I've turned that back on. Um, so wait, no, not play track. Let's go ahead and produce it, produce a new track. So let's try Luling. I don't think we've done that one. And let me go ahead and turn back on the music. So is that music? No, audio. I'll just put it here. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, I keep I keep turning that down. Or I keep turning it. Yeah, I keep turning it back down because I don't know, I like the music in the game, but when I'm building, I don't really like to have the music because it I don't know, it kind of like makes it so I can't focus well or like it gets too repetitive if I'm building for hours at a time. So, I don't know, that's why I usually end up kind of turning it back off. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, nice, he reached level three. Perfect, just where you... Oh, wait, no, he should be going off to work now. Okay, you stop that go off to work, but he might get a promotion today, which would be awesome. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, so let's... Remix vocals, let's turn that on. Oh, cool. Hmm. Uh, let's turn modern drums on. It's a little different. Let's turn basic bass on. Ooh, it's like a little bit more of a rap song. <laughs> okay, super uh, synths. Let's turn that on. Ooh, work for Tommy starts in one hour. Okay, so we got one hour. What was that? Oh, that was just, that was just telling us Carlos is off at work. Uh, let's. Ooh, funky clavinet guitar. Ooh, it's a cool song. What does this do? Let's turn this on. Ooh. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and burn this. I think that's good to go, say everything. Didn't I, how do you have a song called that? Did I, no, I think I did. Ah, it's reusing song titles, great. Now I have to come up with my own. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to change this because I'm pretty sure that she had, a, I'm pretty sure she had a song called Say Everything. So let's do, I don't know, say what you want. I don't know, I really feel like spending a whole lot of time on this. Say what you want, there we go. Sounds good. Got another song made. So let's go ahead and release the track and get a bit of a fame boost and see if that maybe gets us to five stars. Because if it did, that'd be awesome. We've got half an hour for us. Yes, we did it! I did not expect her to become a global superstar within 10 parts. Like these Sims are just get, well, I mean, she was already four stars, so I can't really say she's getting up through the ranks quickly, but I didn't expect to do it in 10 parts. And then meanwhile, Tommy is still stuck, like barely past where we started. So, I mean, Carlos and Emmy are having such an easy time. Like Carlos at this point, I think is, I think he's just about as famous as his father, which is crazy. So let's see what this says. Emmy has officially made it. She's a global superstar. In recognition of her accomplishments, Emmy has earned a celebrity tile. She should travel to the Starlight Boulevard so she can conduct her tile place and ceremony to cheers from her fans. By reaching the pinnacle of fame, she's acquired an additional three fame points, along with access to the top tier of fame perks. However, she can't even begin to relate to normal Sims lives these days. She now has the potential to earn two more behavioral quirks. Okay, so we'll have to do, like, figure out her new perks once we get back from his gig, but that is so exciting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and join him, of course, because I'm really looking forward to this. And as far as what we're going to do after his gig, my original plan was to have them go on a date. Because last time I was talking about how I wasn't sure if we should have Tommy do a meet and greet or if we should have the two of them go on a date. So I think I'm going to go with the going on a date thing. And I did put out a restaurant for them to go to, but... I'm thinking maybe, or maybe we can do that in another part, like have him go to Starlight Boulevard, another part to place the star down. I'm not sure if we should do that in this part or not. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so just more of that stuff. He reached level six of the fitness skill, which is awesome, and it looks like he is in absolute garbage mood, but he's thinking about his son. That's adorable. I don't know if it's completely in a good way, though, because I feel like he's probably starting to get kind of jealous of Carlos because he sees how much fame he's getting. Meanwhile, like he's he's getting nowhere. 
So, I don't know, I feel like he might be, like, while he cares about Carlos and really wanted to get to know him, he might start to kind of resent him a little bit because his rise to fame, in fame, is, like, he's doing so much better than he is. Um, but anyway, I did put these in his inventory, so I think we're going to do this because he's in an absolute garbage mood. So I think we're going to try these to try to cover that up so we don't run into the issues that we did with his past two gigs. So there we go, we're taking that, and look at that, we are very focused. Trick. Okay, there's a... Oh, I guess he listened to music. Okay, there we go. Thanks to Celebi Serum, Tommy will gain old skills faster for a period of time. The serum has also made the side effect... Had the side effect of making him quite happy. Sweet. So yeah, this is a, This seems like a good way to cover up his... His anger from not being able to have a drink. Alright, so what do we got? Complete performance. Tell director you're ready. Rehearsing with co-star. Gossip with someone on set. So let's get on with this. What are we doing? Chatting. Okay, we're just doing friendly interactions. Yeah, so I'm really hoping because he's taking the celebi serum, got himself out of the angry mood, we won't have issues. So this lasts for three hours. So we might have to take some more. Okay, so she's our co-star. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll do a cheerful introduction and then we'll rehearse the scene with her. Who's that again? Saya Burroughs. Let's see who else we got here. We got Craig. Oh, Craig Bishop. Yeah, he was one of the notable newcomers since I added, although I did put them all up to level two. Because as I said, I wanted them to be a little bit closer to Carlos's fame level, but now he's already on level three. Like, I didn't expect him to get to level three so, so soon. Okay, so let's rehearse scene. And I wanted to check what we had to do for this. So we have to achieve level seven of the acting skill, receive an award. On, hopefully we could do this today. I think we'll be able to. Because he did all the researching. So we should be able to do gold no problem. Okay, so we can probably have him gossip with her after this. And then I'm assuming we're going to have to get into costume as well. Because I'm noticing that's not coming up here anymore. But I think we should definitely do that. Be funny on set. We can definitely do that. Uh, let's gossip first. It might have gone past that. Oh, there we go. There it is. Who is he? He's the producer. Yeah, I mean, so far he is doing pretty well. Not having any any lashing out or being rude to people. So let's go ahead and have him be funny. So we'll goof around a bit. Look at that, now he's confident. Born for this from the self-absorbed trait. Tommy Rusa came into this world ready for the spotlight. Just watch her, her work. I think it's a little bit of a, a glitch. And try not to get too jealous, please. <laughs> okay, that apparently did not go well. Oh, she's gloomy, that's why. I tell to compliment us him. Let's do that. We'll just do all of these interactions with her. So we can, uh, let's compliment her outfit. And then we should, I'm assuming there's a costume. Yeah, so let's just get into the costume for gig. All right, Tommy's learned that she is materialistic. Okay, so we'll just get into costume and then I think we'll do hair and makeup as well. Why not? And then after that, we'll tell the director that we are ready and get on with it. Yeah, so things are going so much better with this. Although, I don't know that it's if it's exactly the best solution to be covering up his underlying issues with the celebi serums, because as AMBR Jet brought up a few parts ago, that's kind of replacing one addiction with another, even though this is slightly better, but he's still, he's still if he continues to do this, he's still going to be developing a dependency on something else, even if it's not quite as bad as the drinking, so I don't know, it's kind of a fix, but it's really not like the best way to address this, but it's just something he's trying to do to get by and deal with the stress and like get his, his career back on path, because I think the way he's been acting on set is a part of why it's been so difficult for him. So he's just trying to do what he can to just, just try to have a, a quick fix, like just stick a bandaid over it and, and get on with things. And uh, also Jay brought up, um, let me know in the comments of the last part, that that weird walk he's doing is the male celeb walk or the male fame walk and there's a glitch where level three sims will do it so yeah that's what's going on there okay so hopefully he does not mess up her outfits because uh, i can't remember if we had that happen last time i know we had it happen the first time there we go look at that we got it right the first time so let's go over here to hair and makeup and we don't really need to do it i don't know do we need to I think maybe the clothing's enough. You know, you want to keep him, look, keep him looking like Tommy Russo because when they did the hair and makeup for the pirate gig, you couldn't really tell it was him. But, you know, we still want to have him be recognizable. So let's go ahead and... Huge hug face. Oh, I, thought, I don't know why I thought... Oh, no. Okay, that's wearing off. What are we doing? Using... Okay, fine. Go do that. 
Who? Okay, so we might need to take another one of these. What do we got? We got fun celebi serum. We got what is this? Sleep celebi. Okay, let's not do that one. Let's do fun. Have him take that. Yeah, it seems like he just gets enraged whenever he gets on these sets. There you go. Go take that. Feel better. Did that work? I guess that. All right. I guess that didn't work. Okay, well, you know, we made it through the whole talking to co-stars things, thing without an issue, so hopefully we are good. I mean, maybe it doesn't work if you just keep taking them. Is, is this even the director? Yeah, it is. Why can't we do... Oh, we might have to introduce ourselves to them, right? So we'll do a cheerful, a cheerful introduction and then get on with it. And it looks like this time we are definitely getting to things a lot quicker than in the past. Because I remember before it took like eight hours to complete the gig. Like it was 8 or 9 p.m. <laughs> Although it is four, so it could still take four hours to finish this. But we'll go ahead and say hi to the director. And then go on with this. Oh, I haven't even looked at the set yet. Oh, this is so cool. I love the funky 70s mid-century modern interior that it has. I love it. It's just like a whole apartment set. This is so cool. And this is also the first TV gig, so that's really exciting as well. So let's tell the director we are ready to perform. And I'm just really annoyed that that serum didn't work. Oh, we should let him, um, just go. Okay, we have time to pee, right? Oh, no. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go pee. Ah, oh, just go do this. Come on, we, we don't have a lot of time here. Go take it in your poop. Get that out of your system, and then let's go do what we have to do. So perform mop scene, perform flirt scene. Ooh. Okay, so where, is this the mop scene? Okay, let's do, let's do risky mop. What are we doing now? Emotional melt. Oh, come on. I mean, whatever. You're feeling bad. Oh, is that? Okay, so that's coming back now. I don't know why that took so long to appear. All right, well, he's feeling better. So now that he's done that, let's get him on over there. Okay, so we'll start with the risky mop. And then after that, we'll do the risky flirt. So we're getting ready, getting into zone. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Okay, so now we... Oh, there's also a tell joke scene, but let's do the risky flirt. Okay, so I'm interested in seeing what this is. I don't know if it's going to be like a kissing scene. Hold on, I want to get a picture of this. All right, I guess that was it. Oh, never mind, there's more. Okay, this is, the, this is actually it. Oh, how sweet. How romantic. I think he's doing a good job. Look at that. Yeah, so I guess he's like, he's coming on as a guest star. Oh, there's a kiss scene. I mean, it's, it's business though. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Okay, so she's moving over here. We'll do the perform joke scene. But yeah, Carl's got a promotion though, so that is good to see. We'll read that after we're done with this. Let's go over here and see how... No, she's not really even paying attention, but he looks like he's doing well. There we go. Oh, yeah, we already got gold, so we are definitely doing really well at this. Okay, so now let's go and do this kiss scene. We'll do the risky kiss. So I wonder if the difference for this is maybe you'll do like a passion kiss instead of just doing a peck on the lips kind of a thing. I'm kind of wondering if that's what it is. But yeah, this whole set is so cool. Ooh, that's something a little different. I like that's like kind of a different interaction. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he is going for the he is going for the passionate kiss. What did I tell you? Look at that. I bet that wasn't in the script. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that seemed good. And now he's angry. Okay, just in time for this to be done. Okay, so I think that went well. Nice. So we completed it. Sweet. Hopefully he gets another promotion, because that, I thought, went really well. He earned gold. So now we're getting some ugh, salsa and chips. I guess the food's getting slightly better. We've got chips and salsa, cookies, and tofu dogs. So maybe slightly better than what we were getting before. But I thought that went really, really well. So he is he's getting somewhere. He's, he's getting through the ranks. Yes! Tommy got gold. That's a wrap. Tommy finished all his scenes. The crew is shutting down. The footage is being sent to editing. We earned 1,225 simoleons and a little bit of a fame boost. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stay on the lot because, as I said, we're going to do something with Emmy now. So I'm just going to go to that from here. So no sense of going through another loading screen. Ooh, 
Ooh, so Tommy has been promoted to guest star. New auditions have become available. Okay, so we definitely need to pick out the next one. And it's 7 p.m., so we finished in pretty good time. Yeah, we are definitely going places in this part. We're accomplishing a lot. So let's see the open auditions and go ahead and book his next gig for him so we can get to that as soon as possible. So what do we have? Okay, there's... Oh, this is new, I think. So we got pre... Okay, these are commercials. We're past that. This... Is this a TV gig? Looking for a cheery personality to who can... Wait. Looking for cheery personality to who can promote... Oh, why can I not read this? Looking for a cheery personality to who can emote expressively while wearing a 25-pound headpiece. Uh, I feel like there's some grammatical errors in that. I've been noticing that like some of the prompts that came with this pack or have some errors in them. I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but there's some typos. Join your favorite Volpes and his always visiting friends in the Malvin Forest. Is this... I don't know if this is a TV show. I'm assuming this is a TV show because it earns a little bit more money. And then we got Dead Sea Adventures. Um, I think we're gonna do Dead Sea Adventures. I feel like that's more his speed. Yeah, I think he would do a more adult show rather than a kid's show. Uh, congrats on- I don't know who the hell you are! You keep calling me to do things! Who are you? Where do we meet you? Who is this? Does he- does he know her? Who is this person? Is she a co- Oh! Oh, she's one of his previous co-stars. I mean, no, I he hardly knows her. No, we were gonna- we were gonna do stuff with Emmy anyway. But I did also want to check his fame and see if that's gone up at all. Okay, so we're- about halfway to four stars, so he made some progress, but I'm gonna go ahead and have him go on the date with Emmy. Oh yeah, I also wanted to try using this, because this is something else we can use to boost his reputation some. So we should definitely utilize this perk that he has and call the PR agency. I think we can get them to put out either a bad story or a good story for us. So let's see, request a good story, request a bad story, get on celebrities guest list. So we'll definitely request a good story. You got it, Tommy. We just ran a phony positive story on you and Sims are gobbling it up. Your reputation should see an immediate boost. So what have we got? Okay, that really didn't do a whole lot. That barely helped. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and have him get on the get out on the date with Emmy. So that is never one. That's right here. Let's see. Ask on date. Uh, Emmy. So we'll have them go out to... I did place down Shay Llama. So I think we'll have him... Why did that... Oh, no, come on. Please stop with emotional meltdowns. At least we got through the gig. Okay, let's try to go on a date again. I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Emmy. And hopefully this works. I don't know why it didn't go before. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Okay, we're going to have to check that once we go out on this. All right, so let's go over to Oasis Springs. That's where I placed it. Yeah, I, I just put this down because I was trying to find a really nice, fancy restaurant on the gallery and I was having a little trouble finding one that kind of fit into Oasis Springs. So I just stuck this down. I haven't used it in a long time because for a while I thought it was cursed because I kept having unfortunate things happen when I, ca happen when I came here on for Let's Plays. So hopefully that isn't the case today. You know, it's been a few years. I'm giving it another chance. But let's see what this is because I saw something about the Slubby Serum. Let's see, Celebi Serum Buzz killed. The effects of the Celebi Serum have worn off, leaving Tommy feeling sluggish. She'll be slowly learning old skills for a period of time. Of course, he could always drink another Celebi Serum to perk back up. Okay, so that... Oh, he's thinking about Carlos again. Yeah, so... I guess the Celebi... It's, it's a bit of a high. Like, there's a crash. So, yeah, it's it's not really that much better than what he was doing. So, uh, if he if he gets into that, then it might not be the best thing. Okay, so we'll go ahead and request... You know, actually, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and request a specific table. So let's just take one of these nice ones down here in this pit type area. I mean, that's probably not the best explanation for this because this is a fancy restaurant, but we'll do that. Hey, that TV series you did. Bad news. Kidding. You did great. Everyone loves your performance. You and us. We're really making it, it big together, huh? Sure. I mean, I'm going to drop you as soon as I can get someone else, but sure, we're making it big together. Okay, so let's go ahead and request the table. Is that Marcus? Okay, yeah, that is. What is Emmy do? All right, stop sleeping. Why is she so tired? She's not even that tired. Come on, we can get through the dinner. Yeah, I just really wanted these two to have a nice dinner date together because I haven't really done a whole lot with the two of them as a couple. So I just want to focus on them for a bit. And then I think in the next part, we'll place Emmy's star down. 
because I am really excited for that. So let's go ahead and see that. Oh, we got the paparazzi out here. So they're just uh, taking pictures of them. I thought about putting them in their celebrity disguises, but I think Tommy wants, you know, now that she's a global superstar, I think Tommy kind of wants a celebrity that comes with being around her. Okay, so you got this A Star Is Born thing. Nice. <laughs> After earning a celebrity title, Emmy is elated. Nice. So what is she doing? Posing? Okay, good. She's sitting down now. Okay, let's just go ahead and have him order. Oh, what is this? Wait. There we go. I mean, we're already here, but thanks for showing me. So I'm just... Are we going to have pop... Is this a paparazzi? Are we going to have paparazzi standing right next to our table taking pictures? Okay, that is kind of annoying. But I mean, it could be good publicity to have him be all lovey-dovey. Okay, let's go ahead and order for the table. It's getting pretty late. They're both starting to get tired, so I want to get this going. Okay, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Let's get a Monta Vista reserve for Noi. So get that for... Oh, wait, no. Ooh, no let's not do that. Let's not do that. Never mind, never mind. You know what? Uh, we'll just not get any uh, nectar or juice. We'll uh, stick to... We'll stick to... What do we want to get? Maybe just sparkling water for both of them? Yeah, let's do that. We'll have her do that in support of him. And then let's go ahead and get the meal, free range, six and pit beast. Oh yeah, this is the experimental restaurant, artisan fish trail. We'll get that for him. And then for her, we'll get the rustic pate drizzled in aged juice. Sounds fancy. All right, there we go. We are good to go. And we got two paparazzi right around us. Yeah, not going to be a very private meal, but I don't think that's really what they wanted here. So I wonder... How many? Okay, so we do some of the. Oh, that's nice. So if we do some of these, he'll actually get a fame boost. That is really cool. Ooh, and he wants to woohoo with someone because he's feeling flirty. Is she? Oh, yeah, she is flirty. Ask someone to go steady. I mean, you're kind of already in a relationship with someone, so I don't know why you're getting that. Oh, look at that. We're getting that fame boost. Okay, let's go ahead and. I can't really do that. Let's do what we can do while we're sitting down. Um, we could always propose. That would be a big fame boost, but. I don't know if now's the right time for that. Uh, let's recite love poetry. Um, and then we can do some of that other fame boosting stuff when they stand up. Because I don't know if there's anything else they can do while sitting down. That'll boost their fame. Um, let's do that. Aw, how cute. And I wonder if this has helped his fame at all yet. Okay, it doesn't appear to have really done much. Oh yeah, I also wanted to check her fame perks. And get those so let's go ahead and do that really quick so we got three new ones we got the highest tier unlocked so i want to do this one i meant to do that before but i actually set a reputation after giving her all of her perks before i started the series but now that we have this let's go ahead and do this so she has uh what does this do emmy's good reputation has helped her establish a foothold in the public eye as a charitable and kind celebrity having built her fame upon a bedrock of positivity she'll now gain reputation even faster Additionally, she can now donate various objects from her home to her legion of fans. Each donation will gain her fame. The more valuable the donation, the more fame gained. That's really cool. And then what is this? Emmy's reputation means other Sims trust her to provide worldly advice as such. She can now give inspirational speeches about the secrets to success. Nearby Sims will gather and listen, enjoying a period of increased gain skill gain afterwards. After the rally, Emmy will enjoy a few hours of increased social success with others. Oh, that's really cool. Let's do that. And then this one is uh, Emmy's massive fame and pristine reputation of other sims stumbling over themselves to cater to her desires by providing her with free benefits. Free services, free meals out, free drinks, free massages, free temporary hires. As an extra bonus, anytime Emmy arrives at a venue, excited sims will throw a confetti and celebrate her arrival. Oh, that is so cool. But let's see what else we got. I wonder if you can also earn more fame points on this or if this is it. it might be. Um, don't care about that. Lifestyle brand. Ooh, this one's, oh, this one will be good too, but I know there's been a lot of issues with this, like game-breaking issues. I don't know if they're fixed or not. I thought they fixed it, but then I heard that it wasn't fixed. So it's one of these two I'm going to give her, but I'm not sure which. You know what, I'm just going to not do this now, and you all can let me know what you think I should have her go for, if you know if there's any issues with this or not. Because I really don't want to give her a perk that we can't even use that'll break the game. Uh, so yeah, we'll just uh, we'll hold off on that. Yeah, let me know what you think. But that is so exciting that she's a global superstar now. And look at that. We got three paparazzi. Jeez. I feel bad. Wait, who is this? Why is he coming up to us? Okay, so we got other people like fans just hovering around us too. Yeah, I mean, uh, there might be other times where I have them actually use the disguises. Like when I do want them to have more privacy. But yeah, no, we're trying to get his fame up. So 
Don't really care about that right now. There we go. I wish more of these gave a fame, bo gave a fame boost. I will comment her appearance. Maybe actually talk a little bit. I don't think any of these will give a fame boost. Yeah, I think it's just... Oh, become... Uh, nah, let's not worry about that. Let's comment her outfit. Because that dress does look pretty banging on her. Like, I just love how that dress looks on her. She looks awesome. You know, let's have her comment his outfit too. Because he does look very dashing. Like, he is a handsome guy. So, where is that? Uh, hold on, I just went past it. Compliment outfit. Where was that? There we go. What are you doing? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Just let's focus on the meal. Get back here. Ooh, there it is. So, there's her rustic pate. I don't know what that, what that would be. It just looks like a bunch of jelly on top of each other with, like, some kind of weird green berry. I, mean, I guess it could be good, though. And then we got, like, some grapes and a bunch of fish with more grapes on them or berries oh i think the paparazzi have left us alone now so that's good so we'll just blow a kiss once again and what okay why are you not sitting anywhere please sit okay i don't know it's a restaurant it's cursed i swear i mean this isn't as bad as what i had happened in the past but like weird things happen at this restaurant okay so let's eat the experimental dish what time is it? 12.45? He's getting really tired. Yeah, so we are just going to have to eat this meal and then get on with it and get them on home. Is it snowing? Why is it sn I didn't- Oh, mysterious weather. That's why I was like, why is it snowing in Oasis Springs? That's- it's kind of weird. It should not snow here. And is she going- Okay, no, please. Let's not go off to look at yourself in the mirror. Okay, you know, we are- uh, Let's have her come back here. And we can have them do some more of the other flirty interactions while standing up. Just to get, try to get that little bit more of that fame boost. So, what do we got? Let's caress our cheek. And what else was there that would give us a bit of a fame boost? Propose. Uh, I... Let's profess undying love. Aw. And then I believe I saw a kiss neck. So we'll do that. I don't know. We could ever propose to her, but... I don't know. I don't know if now's the right time. You know what? Actually, let's just do it. You know, this this actually is a good time. You know, they're on this romantic date. They're both dressed up really nicely. He's feeling it. He's flirty. She's flirty too. So let's just go ahead and actually, I let's let's get get her back here because I'm worried if we do that now, he's just gonna go over to wherever she is, and I kind of want him to do it right now. But you know, let's just let's just do this. I mean, they've been together for a while. They're living together. They really care about each other, and also. Let's face it, he knows that he's been feeling a little down about his fame moving up slowly lately, and he knows that, okay, why can we not do this? He knows that proposing to her will give him a much-needed fame boost. I mean, that's definitely going to be a big deal. Because, I mean, who doesn't love a celebrity proposal? And please tell me he's going to do it right here. Okay, can she stop? Okay, good. Ugh. Come, stop going to look at yourself in the mirror. You are ruining this moment. Don't you get that that's, this was going on? Finally, I think it's gonna work. All right, looks like he's doing it, and of course, like, right when he smells. Oh, whatever, whatever. Other than that, it's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I gotta get pictures of this. I love getting pictures of proposals. Oh, we could also, hold on, we could do... Oh, wait, no, I'm in tab mode. Hold on, hold on, shift P. Oh, wait a minute, I think it's shift tab. Oh, there we go, that's, oh, this is weird. Okay, hold on, oh, this is not a very good... Mm, this is not a very good... Okay, we'll just get a picture like this, though, but... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like how it... It looks, um... Not like this. Okay, we'll, we'll just get out of that, but there we go. We gotta... We gotta picture that moment, then let's get another one of him. I like this. Sorry, I just like to be annoying. Get a bunch of pictures of proposals. Wait! Wait! <gasps> oh my god! Did she just... Holy... Ooh... I was not expecting that. She just turned him down. Holy crap, Tommy's broke. Okay, oh my god. I was... Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> I thought for sure, like, with their relationship... I mean, I know they're not in the best mood right now, but... Wow, okay, I thought that she would have accepted. I mean, look at that. Like, <laughs> they're at this nice restaurant. You know, I feel like he, he probably did bring her out here to do this proposal. And then she just straight up rejected him. In front of all of this paparazzi. Why? 
why would she do that? I don't know. Like, what do you all think? I want to know. I want to know what you all think. Why do you think she turned down his proposal? I mean, maybe she could kind of tell he was doing it just for the fame. Maybe she didn't like the way he did it. Like, she doesn't want this showy public proposal. Like, she wants more of a private proposal. and doesn't like that he did it this way. I don't know. Let me know what you all think because that was not the outcome I was expecting. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and bye.